Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to go over the uh, Snow Island start. Um, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial about how to start in Modern Skyblock 3 on the Snow Island. And uh, so let's get right into it. So do the command island create and I'll do the snow. So, here on the snow island, we have two pumpkins and a bunch of snow. So, first thing you're going to want to do is to get the pumpkins. Now, you actually only need one pumpkin, just the way the... Um, Just the way it's set up, you, you're going for the spruce sapling, um, which you only need the you know two seeds for, and you get four seeds from the pumpkin. Then you'll need to create some coarse dirt and uh, get some bones from a mob farm. So the coarse dirt, if I can show you, the way you're going to do that is in the freezer here. Um, gets the heavy snow and freeze it into the coarse dirt. And then that will get you your dirt and sapling for the quest. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and break down all the snow. If you uh, sh hold shift and then right click on either a snow layer or a snow block, it will just um, give you a snowball for it. And uh, you can get eight snowballs out of a full block of snow. So it actually doubles your snow. So you don't actually have to create the snowman or the snow golem. It's not necessary. And without a shovel, it doesn't uh, save much time anyways. So the only thing that it would save is this little crafting bit here. But So as soon as you can, you're going to want to create your little mini freezer. Um, and what that does is then you can take the snowballs. Um, yeah, let me get another one so I can have a full stack of 16 here. So you take the snowballs and put them in there. So 16 snowballs will create four heavy snowballs. And then from there, you can craft those into a block, to the heavy snow block. And this is going to be what you're going to want to do to create your mob farm. So um, you just want to break down as much snow, doubling it as you can, throw a bunch through the freezer, and get the heavy snow, and uh, so on. So let me work on that, and uh, once I get a lot more snow, I will bring you back and we'll uh, build a mob farm together. So hold tight, be right back. So what I do here, as you can see, I just, uh, well, maybe you can see, all you see is a snow block. But soon you should start to see the island underneath me. There you go. So I just create a big, huge stack of snow and then just hold right click down as I, you know, essentially fill up my inventory. Um, and then, yeah, and then I'll just create more of these um, and so on. But um, let's get some of these going. And uh, get a bunch of the blocks so that we can start crafting out the a mob farm. So once this is uh, done and I've got a bunch of uh, the heavy snow, I'll be right back. So I'm uh, pillaring out a ways and um, I actually lost count. Uh, you want to go out 24 blocks from a uh, little island here. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
23, 24. So 24 blocks away from where you're standing, the mobs will be able to spawn. Um, and go ahead and make yourself a little platform. Now the main difficulty with the mob farm here is you don't have any slabs. Um, so all these blocks here are full blocks. Um, so you can't uh, just use the you know slab on the bottom side to make them spawn proof. And you don't have the little you know slab and then the block area and then the slab on top kind of like you do in the others where you can kind of get under there and um, see their feet but their um, the light is blocked so that it uh, I guess we didn't need that one technically we don't need that one down there either I grab it no okay so this is the easiest way to do this one is uh, kind of get your spot here and then Yeah, so um, for me, I'd like to have it so that it's super small. Um, and then everywhere out here, we're going to, um, let's see, get some blocks so I can demonstrate. So get the snow layers, and if you just have, you put those the two side by side and that will give you um, snow layers and anywhere you want to spawn protect if you put um, at least two snow layers that will make it so that they can't spawn on it and I'm doing this just so that I can go and farm up more snow without them coming and bothering me so yeah um, let me get this ready and uh, we'll get some more snow yeah so get some more blocks finish up the mob farm and I'll be back All right, so I built the little mob farm in here, um, and you push the F7 key, and it will show you the, the little red X's and the green ones. The, the red ones mean that the mobs can spawn there during the day, and the yellow ones mean that only during the night they will spawn there. Well, it is becoming night right now, so let's go stand back and see if we can get anything to spawn. Now, the two mobs we're looking for right away are the uh, zombies and the skeletons. The skeletons, because they'll give us the bone meal in order to actually complete the quest and get our um, sapling. And then the dirt, um, I'll show you how to make the dirt here once we get the sapling. Um, and then the zombies they'll give us rotten flesh that we can actually craft with the snowballs in order to get some food that uh, won't make us hungry like the rotten flesh will so yeah I guess I'll uh, wait here for some mobs to spawn um, you would have to be careful because there's the the baby zombies they'll run right out and uh, attack you with the, um, the setup we have there so you can't you don't want to leave your back turned to it for very long um, but yeah let's see if we can get some uh, mobs and be right back all right looks like we have a skeleton it's got a 
sword. I did have uh, a couple things um, happen while I was off camera. Let me uh, explain what happened. And so um, I was waiting over there for a while, and it wasn't happening. So I decided I would expend, uh, you know, extend it out a bit. Um, yeah, that I, I ran out of the heavy snow, so I'm like, oh, I'll just put a regular snow block there. Um, but I had a little mishap as I was building up my snow tower. Um, I ended up stepping off the side and falling and I splatted right there. So I died and, um, yeah, it was right there. So my <laughs> tutorial might not be the best if you're dying in it, but um, we've got this ready to go now. So get the pumpkin seeds there. The, uh, oh, right. I need the snow or the, um, the dirt. So if you take the heavy snow blocks and put them back in the freezer, um, uh, slowly, and you can kind of see it slowly going up. So they will turn into the coarse dirt. Um, just making sure nothing's coming over there. Um, yeah, so slowly they'll turn into the coarse dirt, and uh, that's how you get your dirt. So, making sure nothing's on my back. Yeah, and that's why my uh, my the health is full as well as be, or my my hunger. Is full because I got that death. All right, so that gives you your sapling, and there you go. So that you get your dirt, your sapling, and that's how you complete the snow island. So from here, you got the kitchen sink mode, the staged mode, or the gated mode, however you like to play it yourself. Um, I personally have a Let's Play series where I'm playing on the gated mode and um, I started out on the Magma Island which is a bit different from this one. Uh, well, it started raining but um, so I, <laughs> I ran in here so that the uh, video quality wouldn't be too terrible. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to watch my Let's Play series um, you can um, click on the, the playlist. It should be appearing up on the, the, um, the right hand side of your screen. And um, yeah, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, I would appreciate that very much. So thanks for watching this little tutorial and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.